Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Gillingham and they face Rochdale. Well, thank you, Derek. Brilliant atmosphere here today. All that hard slog in pre-season. All aim for this game. First game of the season. All that preparation is for this. It's for this 90 minutes. Focus on it. Get the three points. Move on to the next one. Looking forward to it. Oh, surely. And still danger here. And a throw-in it's going to be. And fed forwards. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a goal for Shrewsbury Town. Five minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Delivered into the area here. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Well, big changes at the club, a new manager in the technical area, and his remit certainly to avoid relegation at a minimum league. Well, absolutely, once he gets his feet under the... He thwarted the attack illegally, and perhaps a card is forthcoming. We've barely got started, and already a yellow card. Now, will that be potentially problematic? for player and official. Well, it will be because the player's on the tightrope now. He's now thinking about everything that goes in front of him. Well, that's not the way to remain top of the list to be taking free kicks. No, his teammates will be looking at him. That was a really, really poor effort. I'm pretty sure he won't be on the next one. Intelligent threaded pass here. It might be. And that is how to endear yourself to the fans in your debut. Well, he's in dreamland. It's all going to plan and then some. Well, here's the replay. And as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Giving the ball away. Let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Northampton Town. 20 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Sheridan. Beautiful pass. Could cross it in here. And a fine tackle. And moving the ball nicely. No nonsense clearance. Oh, they'll be kicking themselves. Ruled offside. Sheridan. Beautifully timed. This might have potential. And a good looking ball. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. Lund. Space and time for the cross. Well, I'm sure he heard the footsteps of his opponent. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Sheridan. Take it away. Moving into the advanced position. In behind for him to chase. And still danger here. Sheridan. 
And news coming through of a goal on the Peterborough game. Alan McEnany can tell us more. And he's through here. Played towards the near post. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. And we did have to cut off Alan McAnally for understandable reasons. To reconfirm for you, the away side did score. They now lead by one goal to nil. Robertson. Well, they couldn't keep it. McDonald. Well, attacking possibilities. This looks promising. And thwarted there following the cross. And room now out on the flank. It's there for him. What a vital intervention. And the whistle is sounded for... Really tense battle so far. And now the second half is underway. Ryan. I believe there's been a goal in the Peterborough match. Alan McAvaly with the details. It's a second goal for AFC Wimbledon. 48 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Well, it has been a developing story in recent days and now we can 100% confirm it. Sergei Milinkovic-Savic has completed his move to Manchester City. I think he'll add some real quality to this new club. He's a team player. I'm sure he'll settle in quickly. A proper pro. Lund. Oh, superb skill. They couldn't maintain possession. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And he's in an offside position. Robertson. It's opening up for them. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. Ryan. And the pass could do damage. Firing it in. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very... A glorious chance! Well, good defending, clattered out of there. Here it is now, a substitution. And the attack promising as it was, scuppered there. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. Oh, horrible injury to his shoulder there. Landed right on top of it. Sore, but he's tough. I think he'll carry on. Cheers, Jeff. McShane. Sheridan. Can he finish this? Now that's fine goalkeeping, real concentration. So the corner played into the box. Well, sadly from his point of view, wayward to say the least. Well, it's a shocker. I wasn't very good at heading, Derek, but I could have done better than that. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a second goal for Plymouth Argyle. 68 minutes played, 2-0. Many thanks, Alan. Trailing, but hope in the form of a corner. The noise is great. Can the players react to that? Can they equalise? And now the delivery. Well, it still could be dangerous. 
And I think the threat has been averted. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And getting across to stop it. And he's fired over the corner. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Can the owner of the red hatchback blocking the emergency? Now will the cross work out for them? No problems for the keeper. Thank you. Lund. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a second goal for Shrewsbury Town. 77 minutes played. 2-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. And unable to keep possession. Have they given him too much space? Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. And firing it into the area. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Well, there's a saying in football, Derek, that you always get one more chance. They need that chance right now. The fans feel it might be coming too. Play towards the back post. Well, as we see, it's a great cross, but what a finish. So hard to wait and be patient when the ball's dropping. He does everything right and finishes it off. A brilliant goal. It's going their way. 2-0. Inside the final five minutes now. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. They look as though they want to make this move. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely a yellow card, Derek. Could pull one back here. Excellent block. Dempsey. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And a goal! They've cut into the lead. It's not settled yet. Well, here is the replay. It's a good goal, isn't it? It gives them a glimmer of hope. But you have to say, they haven't been good enough today. I think it's too little, too late, Derek. So there we have it. 2-1. And he read it well. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Dangerous looking attack. Defensive roadblock in the way of that crop. And so the final whistle here, the visitors... Can...